Natural languages tend to be inconsistent. I am, you are, he is, more than one mouse are mice, and good, better, best. Given a set of symbols sigma, a language is any subset of the star closure, so it could be irregular. But why would we want to do that? So given languages L1 and L2, we can create a new language by their union, concatenation, or star closure. So given a set of symbols, we'll say a regular expression is created by some combination of these. For reasons, we'll change our notation slightly. We'll use plus for union, juxtaposition for concatenation, and we'll keep the star for closure. So, for example, let's try to write these sets as regular expressions. So, A, B, B, A, B, A, B, A is the union of two elements. So, union is indicated using the plus. So, we'll write this set as A, B star is the union of two elements, A, and any number of Bs strung together. So we'll write this as A plus B star. This set is the closure of the union of the elements A and another set. But this other set is the closure of the union of two elements B and B A. And so we'd write this as... The important thing to realize here is that these regular expressions are another way of describing a set. So why do we introduce another way of describing sets when we have a perfectly usable set notation? And it's useful to remember, good notation reminds us of something useful. For example, suppose we want to find all elements of A, A plus B. So again, reading this as a regular expression, this is A followed by either A or B. But this will give us either AA or AB, and so we can rewrite this as, and it looks like we can use the distributive property. And in fact, we can, although we do need to be careful. So for example, let's find all elements of A plus B squared. So remember that LK is the concatenation of K copies of L. And so we can expand this, A plus B, A plus B. And remember what this is. Pick A or B and follow it with either A or B. So we could have A, 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 B, B, A, or B, B. Now, here's where we have to be careful. If these were real numbers, A, B, and B, A were the same. But since A, B, and B, A are not equal, remember they're strings of symbols, we have to leave them as they're written. So just as there are many ways to describe a set, there are many ways to describe a regular expression. So we might try to find the simplest form of a regular expression. That's actually a very hard problem. So Failing that, we could at least try to find a simpler form. So for example, let's suppose we want to simplify a star lambda plus a. So we might try the obvious thing and use our distributive property. And this first term is any number of a's followed by the empty string, so it's just any number of a's. But can we go further? So remember, concrete never hurts. So the original regular expression, a star lambda plus a, is all strings that start with any number of a's, followed by either the empty string or another a. So some strings it includes, we'll start with some number of a's, then follow it with an a, which we can simplify to. Or we can start with some number of a's, Follow it with the empty string, which becomes. Now remember, nothing is important, so this star closure also includes a possibility that we take none at all. So we can start with no a's, well that's just the empty string, followed by an a, which is. Or we could take the empty string 
and follow it with the empty string to get. And the important thing to note is that all of these can be described using a star because that's any number of a's, possibly including none at all. And so we can simplify our expression one step further. So let's try something like this. So we could simplify this by using our distributive property. And this is any number of a's followed by an a. Well, that's just any number of a's. And this is b followed by any number of b's. So that's just any number of b's. And these are the same expression. And remember, this plus really refers to a union of two sets, which in this case are identical. And so we can simplify this as a star b. Now, while we could simplify it this way, would it be correct? So remember, if you don't find your mistakes, someone else will. And while everyone blames the computer, it's not the one that gets fired. So again, concrete never hurts, and nothing is important. The set as originally described is any number of a's, followed by an a or a b, followed by any number of b's. For example, we could have three a's, an a, and then five b's, or, or we could have five a's, a b, and five b's. And remember, the star closure allows us to choose none at all. So we could have no a's, that's the empty string, followed by an a, followed by a couple of b's. Or we could have no a's, a b, followed by no b's, which is just b. Since we must choose either a or b for the middle component, we always have a string of length at least 1. But a star b star allows for the possibility of no a's and no b's. In other words, it includes the empty string. And so we can't simplify our expression as a star b star. So we could do two things. We can include these strings a and b individually by a union. So remember, union is indicated using plus. Alternatively, remember we have the notation L plus, the set of strings of length at least one formed from concatenating strings in L. And so this expression will have at least one A followed by any number of B's, or, that's our union, any number of A's followed by at least one B. Or let's consider another example. Let's consider the star closure of this set. So this regular expression includes all possible strings formed by concatenating a, b, a, b, or b, b. So again, concrete never hurts. So we might take an a, an a, an a, b, and a b, b, which gives us the string. Or an a, b, a, b, a, a, which gives us. Or an a, 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 b, which gives us. But notice that the strings we're forming are the same as forming a sequence of a's and b's. So concatenating with an a, b is the same as concatenating an a, then a b, and likewise b, b. And so this original expression can be simplified to take any number of a's and b's and concatenate them. 